Hi guys. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a quick video here of me MIG welding up some cast iron. Uh, I've had folks tell me it's not gonna work and some people say it will work as long as you heat it up. Uh, it seems like people like my last video that I did of MIG welding the bandsaw blade. So let's see if this welding this will work. So I'm gonna have to try and heat it up. Uh, apparently you gotta get it nice and hot uh, before you start welding, otherwise it'll just crack. Um, so I, I really have nothing to lose. This is the snout off of my starter. Um, this is an old uh, tractor that uh, unfortunately the starter is not very old. I just got the tractor and the starter is fairly new, but um, I bumped the starter. Uh, those, it's an old Ferguson tractor and you push the shifter forward to actually start it. And I bumped the start, the shifter into start as it was just starting and it cracked that knocked the gear out and cracked the end of this nub. So um, hopefully I can fix it. Let's uh, show you what that looks like. Okay, so. Okay, so here's the snub of the starter, the snout of the starter. You can see nice big crack there. There's actually one on the other side as well. Um, so I guess when I bumped and engaged the starter by mistake as it was starting and just about to kick, it knocked the gear out, which stuck the gear, which I've got that fixed, um, but it still just, it cracked this housing. So it cracked on this side, cracked on the other side. I can't get one of these replacements right now. Um, from what I've been able to find, I'm sure there's one out there, but um, they're pretty expensive. So I kind of feel like I've got nothing to lose here. I don't feel like I can wreck it any more than it's already wrecked. Um, so I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens.
So, there you go. It's a little bit high, but that's okay. Um, I don't know. I guess it worked. I have no idea. I guess we'll find out if it cracks. So I have another spot on the other side to also do. So once this just cools down a little bit, I'll take it, rotate it over. I don't want it to cool down too much because then I got to heat it up again anyways. Um, and I'll rotate it over. And what I may also do is on the inside, obviously it's cracked all the way through. I'll try and see if I can weld a little bit on the inside also um, to sort that out. But I don't know, hopefully this works. It worked, so obviously heating it with the torch and uh, MIG welding across there seemed to work. It seemed to weld nicely. Obviously, uh, some of the stuff I read too, uh, hopefully you could have seen that, so I ground the area first that I was welding in to grind away this, um, the rough finish of the cast. Um, so I think that's very important to grind that away. I did still get some porous spots when I first started grinding, and it's probably because one of, I think, the issues with welding on this is there's so much chemical in the cast iron, especially this being in the engine part, getting oily, and, and it, because it is porous on its own, it soaks in that oil. So you really got to try and burn that off. You can, um, I cleaned it all with acetone in there first. Um, so acetone is a good thing to use to, that I find for welding. Um, and then, of course, the torch will burn off a bunch of the stuff too. So... I don't know, we'll find out. I'll get it cleaned up, put it back together, and hopefully I can get the tractor running to show you that. Thanks.